This is the process on WCRX 88.1 FM and WCRX.net. I'm Raina P, and my guests today are Jake Carlson, Muhammad Sultan, Ronnie Bat, and Andre Powell, who are all park parkour and free runner practitioners in Chicago and Illinois, and all our members of ChicagoParkour.net, an internet site that displays videos, events, and a forum all dedicated to the underground running sport of lay parkour and free running. Okay, well, Ronnie or Andre, do you guys are free runners, right? Uh, do you think there's a difference between free running and doing or tracing? Well, I'd say the difference is mainly, you know, a lot of people say parkour is pretty much getting from point A to point B as efficient as possible. Free running, I'd say we're more flashy, yeah, flashy tricksters type of people, you know, we uh, tend to incorporate more flips and more aesthetically pleasing things. So. Oh, like backflips off of like a building or something? Yeah, yeah. So you're <laughs> like like the lay park, the tracers with style, sort of. So, so to speak. <laughs> I guess you could say that. All right, well, you are listening to The Process on WCRX 88.1 FM. I'm Raina P, and my guests today are Jake, Muhammad, Ronnie, and Andre, who are all parkour tracers and free runners, pretty much, from ChicagoParkour.net in the forum. And we're talking about, basically, tracers and free runners. Tracers is the nickname for people who do parkour, and the differences between them. Do you guys get hurt? Like, ever get hurt doing this stuff? This seems, like, kind of extreme. It's common. It's very <laughs> common. Right. It's, like, really important to your limitations. A lot of people think, oh, I'm going to try parkour. I'm going to go jump off a building now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no that's not what it is. A lot of people that yeah, do it usually have extreme. backgrounds in, like, I right. guess high school sports. Martial arts, gymnastics. Oh, see, so, so not anybody can be a tracer or a free runner. No, every, anyone can. Anybody anyone can. can. There's just some people just have slight level advantages. Commitment. So... You guys don't agree if they like make like a lay parkour and free running like national league or something like that, sort of like a professional sport like the NBA or something like that. Well, would you guys ever be interested in something like that, or is that something that you would think are, would be interested? And in, there are others just as many that wouldn't be interested. It really depends on the person you ask. Right. Like personally, I'm not against competition. You know, I think it's a great way to to get parkour out there, even though it's against each other. You know, it's a uh, it shows people that we're not just going out there and doing crazy things, you know, we're <laughs> sometimes a little friendly competition. It okay. Help. Well, this is a question for each of you. If you could describe parkour and free running in one word, what would it be? Starting with Jake. Freedom. <laughs> Fun. I would say freedom. <laughs> Epic. Epic. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. Um... Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you to my guests, uh, Jake, Muhammad, Ronnie, and Ronnie. Yeah, this is Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie and Andre. <laughs> for listeners wanting to know about upcoming jams or sessions in Chicago for lay parkour and free running, you can log on to chicagoparkour.net. I'm Raina P. Thank you for listening to WCRX 88.1 FM and WCRX.net.